Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to chat briefly with you about the closing process and the simple fact that sometimes delays happen. And you need to know that going into the process. We try 100% uh, of our effort and our team's uh, closing processes and procedures and staff to make sure we get to that closing date on time and hopefully stress-free as possible. That being said, there's so many people involved in the process from a uh, closing attorney to the lender to the underwriter at the lender's office, uh, whoever's underwriting the loan, and then you got insurance, you got appraisers, you, down to uh, inspectors. All these things have to come together and, and sometimes things just don't line up for that specific date. And we got to understand. And then the other thing is life gets in the way. So a death in the family. A, a Sometimes it's a verification of, uh, of employment. They haven't been employed a, long enough. And we got to wait another week to make sure that they've met a certain uh, length of time of employment. Certain little things that maybe should have gotten done earlier. But we got to make sure that anytime you have a closing window that you've, you haven't pigeonholed yourself uh, so narrowly into a closing date that it causes pure chaos uh, when that time comes and there's a small delay. And we're not talking about major delays where somebody can no longer get financing or anything like that where the, the contract is canceled. That's not most delays. Most delays are by a day or so. And most of the time, if you really and truly, they are factors outside of, of, of most people's control. Something that came was unforeseen, uh, many times it was underwriting guidelines that may have changed or uh, that maybe they should have caught earlier. They didn't have enough. The underwriter thought they needed one year's tax returns. Now they need two just to verify something. Uh, they've come back with a last minute question. The other thing is too, a lot of times at the last minute they need a day or so to verify a certain deposit that was made by a buyer or seller. Those are all guidelines that there's no way around. And we just need to take it with a grain of salt Put a smile on our face and then just be uh, glad we're fortunate enough to be moving forward uh, towards closing so and, and eventually getting there so that you can either get your new house or sell your own sell your house as well so anyway uh, I guess the moral of this story is delays happen and there's not much uh, that we can do in certain situations except just fix the problem and and get ready to close so anyway if you have any comments uh, Email me, call your at megagents.com. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.